Hello, there's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrologist. Welcome to Star Codes, where today we're going to look at an important transit, actually double transit, the Sun is making to Pluto and Saturn. It's so important because these three are going to come together with Mercury in early January. So this is the final time the Sun is going to meet up in such a big event with Saturn and Pluto. Now I know I'm talking a lot about Capricorn, Saturn and Pluto in these last star codes, but it is so important because they are the core of the conjunction that is forming in early January, part of the stellium in Capricorn on January 12th. And it's all building up tremendously now that Pluto and Saturn are moving forward, moving direct again. So what's happening is when the sun comes into a double conjunction with Saturn and Pluto, it's actually a week apart between the two. It's an important development in the storyline, and we're going to look at that storyline. So in this episode, we're going to cover the Sun square Saturn, the Sun square Pluto, the cardinal signs of Libra and Capricorn that are activated by this particular square, and what you want to focus on in order to reach the highest level of potential successful outcomes, because you're really being asked to step up. And we'll end with some exciting tips on how to leverage the star codes of Sun, Square, Saturn, and Pluto in your personal and professional life. So that's what we're covering today. So let's begin with the Sun, which of course is our star, our light, our bringer of life. The Sun is creative expression, celebration, enthusiasm, self-actualization, the sun is about recognizing who you are at soul level, your inner confidence, your inner light, your radiance. The sun is our strength of purpose. The sun is the ruler of Leo and every sign rules a part of your body as well. And sun and Leo rule the heart. They govern the back and the spine as well as inflammation. So these are big, big health topics as well, because of course our heart is pumping blood, the, the life giver, the incredible, just like the sun gives life to earth, our blood stream, our flow of our blood, our spinal cord, inflammation, those are big themes in staying healthy. So the sun asks us, who am I? What am I here to do? How can I express my personal power with confidence? So all of that is being activated by these two squares. And because the sun is the ruler of Leo, Leo inspires you to step onto the stage of life, to implement your soul inspired destiny, your soul code, to perform your purpose with confidence. So any major transit that the sun makes asks you to explore what inspires you to the core, what lights you up from the inside. And that means knowing your purpose. What is your purpose? It's a great time to explore those questions in your birth code. Your birthday actually describes your life purpose and your birth certificate name describes your destiny. They all add up to specific numbers. It's all explained in a free masterclass I created for you at starcodeclass.com. We also go into your astrology. It's super easy. I give you a guide PDF that will take you through all the important moments and it's just super fun. So it's a great time to look into that at starcodeclass.com. Now, we are heading into the stellium, Saturn, Pluto, Sun, Mercury coming together in Capricorn in early January. Pluto is our power and transformation and Saturn is structure and security. Pluto intensifies energy. Pluto transforms, it uncovers the truth. It brings to light what is unseen. So our unconscious motivations will come up. And so it's time to look at any secrets you may have been not wanting to reveal or secrets that have been even kept from you because they are in the unconscious. It's time to look at any power struggles or control issues in your life that arise when you're not acting from a space of compassion or service or leadership and confidence. So 
This planet Pluto embodies change and restoration. And Pluto is very, very intuitive because it uncovers the unseen. Saturn tests you. Saturn is like going to school and raising your level of maturity. Saturn is about timing and seeing how you're applying what you have learned. So during a big Saturn transit, we grow and the growth happens through the process of elimination through creating boundaries, through building on our commitments, through creating structures and boundaries that support us, that put out what we don't need, prevent those from entering our space and giving us the security, the boundaries to feel at ease. So Saturn reorganizes our priorities. Think of Saturn as the planet of solutions. And sometimes on the path to finding a solution, there's a feeling of contraction, which inspires you to take a different perspective, a different approach to healing a situation. So with Pluto right next to Saturn and Capricorn, we are experiencing the dissolving of old structures. The dissolving part is Pluto, the structures is Saturn, especially patriarchal top-down structures, which is Capricorn. So they are all in the process of crumbling as we are very well aware of. And Saturn is instrumental then in also building up a new world because Saturn is the builder. So Saturn and Pluto are birthing a new structure of empowerment and self-control. So now the sun comes in. The sun comes into play with these two squares that are happening while the sun is in Libra. And Libra and Capricorn are both cardinal signs. Cardinal signs begin our seasons. So Libra begins autumn and Capricorn begins winter in the Northern Hemisphere. So they're part of a group of four signs, which include Aries, which is the beginning of spring. And then we have Cancer, the beginning of, of summer. Now on October 7th, the sun in Libra is square to Saturn in Capricorn. And when the sun, our light, our well-being squares, the planet of responsibilities and boundaries, our energy can feel more restricted. So you want to guard against a possible tendency to procrastinate or to worry or to get impatient because this is only a time to really look at your responsibilities and act on them step by step, especially Libra topics and Capricorn topics, which are career for Capricorn. Libra is love, love, balance, internal harmony, justice. So you have a choice to make. You need to acknowledge what needs to be upgraded in your life in order to further that growth that Saturn's looking for. And your self-confidence then is directly measured by your willingness to get to work, which Saturn is asking you to do. So put your light to work, the sun, right? So don't wait for results. You really need to get active during a square. A square is about tension that needs to be resolved. So you need to sow the seeds now that will take you up to the next level exponentially later. So it's imp really important to step up now, to step up into working, especially especially in career and also in terms of any tension you have in the romance, relationship, balance, harmony sector. Now we're always faced with challenges along the way. That is part of life and it's overcoming them, which Saturn is so good at. That makes you stronger, makes you more secure, makes you more confident as you shift your energy into that higher vibration, into discipline, discernment, then that's when you reap those wonderful results, right? That you admire in others that are successful. It's discipline, it's discernment, it's fortitude, right? So with the extra responsibilities you have now, you want to make sure you keep a balance in fulfilling the duties, yes, but also being patient and determined to proceed with your goals. So it is a balance. So don't expect everything to happen right away. That's more a Mars thing than a Saturn thing. Then on October 14th, which is exactly a week later, the sun squares Pluto. Now, this is very, very empowering because it, it means you're going through a rebirth that happens as a result of surrender. Surrendering to God, surrendering to the universe, to the divine, to spirit. So it's a tremendous change of perspective that can take place. And with Pluto, the changes are not always obvious because Pluto uncovers the unseen. So 
it's about the internal transformation. And so the pressure can feel intense with a square. It can feel also very subtle. It's not always clear. Saturn is very discernible. Saturn transits are very much about the obvious. Pluto transits are a little bit less obvious because they're focused on your inner transformation. So your inner confidence is being reinvigorated. And this is a really deep shift. I mean, Pluto is profound. And so it always takes you so deep so that you can reach to the truth of something. And you don't always know what the outcome will be. So you need to relax. You need to surrender. Surrender is really a key word here. You need to channel the intensity of the moment into a goal. And that will help you reap rewards and ignite your drive to succeed. Be sure to breathe. Be sure to rest. Be sure to let go of bygones and meditate in order to stay present in this transformation in your life. It's a great time to discover your birth promise as well, the secrets of why you're here, your soul purpose, your destiny. Just go to starcodeclass.com and make sure you, in, you take the 90-minute free webinar. It's really, really enjoyable. Now, let's look at some tips and takeaways for you for this powerful moment that happens three months before the big enchilada moment, which is January 12th. Okay, so letting go of the past, which is what Pluto wants you to do, is difficult for most of us. And so to help to get that purging energy moving, I suggest that you spend time between the 7th and 14th and even beyond because these transits impact you for a bit longer than that. So the couple weeks around that time to clean out your closets, to clean out the attic if you have one or the basement or both, you know, anything that allows you to focus on release in a proactive way. And the reason for cleaning these out is they're in the dark usually addicts and cellars and closets. And that's what Pluto represents is that darkness that comes to light. And also it represents usually our past, a collection of our past. So you uncover things, items, memories that can be cleaned out. And then you feel fresh and fulfilled as a result. You feel sparkling energy. And that's what the sun brings is that sparkle, that light. Another thing to focus on is your internal cleanse. It's a great time to do a fasting cleanse or something to get your, especially your intestines, to be clean and cleanse energy that is moving well inside your body. And letting go also means that you don't need to push so hard. So you can give it your best. Saturn is asking you to do that, right? But that's all you can do. You, you have to also be open to letting go and releasing tension and releasing guilt. I mean, guilt is really the most difficult, challenging emotion for us when we hold in guilt somehow. So let go of that. So basically it comes down to if you work with these two intense transits, Sun, Square, Saturn, and Pluto, consciously, so you consciously facilitate the energies of stepping up and working and purging and letting go, you will really create some incredible changes in your life that will be long lasting since we're going into this big stellium event. But if you resist the messages and you resist the changes, then you may experience this time with more chaos or more anxiety or shocking events. So it's really important to consciously engage. And this is why I do these forecasts is to help you prepare for those moments so that you can consciously actually work with the cosmos, work with the codes. So one thing to look at here is how are you structuring your life? Saturn wants to know, like, how do you set your goals? How do you feel about the plans that you're putting up, putting in place? Nothing will escape your awareness during this time. I mean, Pluto and Saturn are just incredibly powerful in terms of honing in on what needs to be looked at. And so you need to be aware of what needs to be set free, what needs to be let go. The Libra Capricorn influence is also about respect for others because of the Libra is about relationships and respect for the other side 
if you don't agree with a certain side and there's duality, which Libra represents, you need to be very, very respectful instead of aggressive or fearful or controlling, right? That is what we want to stay away from now. So this double square from the sun to the two planets that form the core of the stellium in January is the beginning phase of dissolving something. So just look at what needs to be dissolved. And if you consciously work with that, you can be radically reborn because that's when you experience tremendous change, wonderful shifts, endings that don't feel like upheaval, right? And resolving things. And so look at what tools from the past you don't need anymore. Surrender to what comes through you, within you, from your guides, the inner guidance. You need to trust to that connection. You need to trust in the surrender that comes from listening to your guides and to God and to the universe, to spirit. Really trust the planetary energies as well. This is a major time of transformation and you're here for a reason. You're here to embrace the coming decade of the 2020s and this is what this is all preparing you for. So don't be afraid, be bold, say yes to your dreams. You can't reach a high vibrational goal without walking every day towards that goal, towards that beautiful destination, having it in your mind, having it in your heart, feeling it every moment. Remember, you come from the stars and this is something you just want to embrace every day. You are a star. The sun is about your light. Your sun sign is about your light. Your moon sign is about your feelings. You have incredible connections to the cosmos that are undeniable. So make sure that you know your star code. Go to starcodeclass.com. And I hope you have an amazing week. I so look forward to talking to you next week for our next star code show. And I hope this helps you move through the sun square Saturn Pluto moment in mid-October. Lots of love. Bye-bye for now.